everyone. I hope you are enjoying this great conference. Uh, this is Luis Guadarrama. I'm a learning designer working for Athabasca University. Um, I'm here to share this presentation that is focused on engagement, motivation, I would say intrinsic motivation, and uh, diversifying, expanding, enriching, and enriching learning experiences. Um, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna go a little bit fast. I, I have a lot of inf uh, information, but um, um, if you uh, don't worry, my slides are very self-informative, and uh, um, if you wanna get a copy of them, I, I will be more than happy to share that. So, um, I'm, uh, this uh, presentation is focused on uh, the course of Human, human Geography. This is an undergrad, self-paced, individualized uh, university course, three credits, where students uh, focus on, on the um, uh, sociocultural, bio diversity, economic, sustainability, and, and uh, it's, a, it's a multidisciplinary perspective of the Canadian North. Uh, to better understand this presentation, um, I will let you know that Athabasca University is an open university where students don't, don't need uh, any requirements to enroll in the courses. Uh, it's online, it's a distance. Uh, we have about 3,000 students. Uh, uh, it's a, we have uh, students, uh, uh, it's a self-paced, individualized, uh, studies where students uh, are working uh, completely individually. Um, uh, as many other all uh, online universities, we are finishing, we are completing uh, a huge transformation going from print-based to online courses. And this is one of the, the, the transformations we are working on, uh, we have been working on. Um, at the beginning of the, uh, when we uh, started to work on this course, uh, I got with this professor, and we were talking about the concerns about this course. Uh, students were complaining about isolation. Students were not getting the, the, the big picture about the Canadian North. Uh, they were just focusing on their work. Uh, students didn't have any interaction with any other students, just with the tutor and, and, and the, the mat learning materials. Um, um, as I said, there was no any kind of interaction. Students were dropping out and failing. The course was somehow high. Um, so we started to analyze and discuss what could be done for this course. So we were coming from having this, this course where students didn't have any kind of interaction, and they were basically working on only two assignments. A mid-third assignment where students were basically addressing three, four questions given by the professor, and it was a short essay. Uh, and this, uh, at the final assignment, uh, a kind of uh, tw 20 pages research uh, 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 paper. The two assignments were, didn't have any connection at all, so, and, and, and unfortunately, students were uh, not really uh, succeeding in the course. So we started to look at cooperative learning theories, and in particular, I strongly recommended to look at the cooperative freedom uh, theory, whose author is uh, Morten Paulsen, uh, working, who was working for many years in the NKI University, which is one of the very few universities in the world, online and at distance, who has a self-paced individualized model. So, um, uh, what we did, uh, practically, we redesigned the whole course. We put the course, first of all, we put the course online. Uh, where we immerse students in a community of learning. The students now have the option of interacting with one another, other than the tutor and the learning materials. One of the main aspects we uh, address was the assignments. We broke down the assignments in several assignments, in five assignments. And, and now there are sequence open-ended assignments. And I mean by that, that uh, students were still working on this research paper, but bit by bit. So in first assignment, students were, uh, for, for, for this course, students have to select one geographical area in the Canadian North, 
and they have to come up with a multidisciplinary human geography analysis. Uh, so in, in one assignment, they were addressing the economic aspects. In another assignment, they were addressing the uh, political aspects. In another assignment, they were addressing the uh, um, sustainability and, and, and so forth. At the end of the course, they have the final assignment, a still the research paper, where they integrate all their work that they have been doing and producing during the course, uh, integrated all in the research paper. It gave opportunity for students to get feedback in, for each assignment, improve their work, and, in, uh, and be on track. Um, uh, the end, the open assignments, um, the students get the instructions, but they have the choice to select the topic. Tutors, uh, students have to submit an approval to the tutor to, to, to make sure, and tutors make sure that each topic is different from previous assignments that were submitted. So, in this way, students can post or submit their assignments publicly, and there is no way for cheating or copying. And the students, the way of submitting the assignments actually is posting the assignments on a dynamic, interactive Google Map. The students do that, and they're updating the information constantly, so that every time the students come back to the course, they have new information, new information every time. And this is something that has, has been engaging students in this course. Uh, one of the main aspects of the, the strategy is transparency. So that means that um, when students know that their work is going to be read not just by the tutor but by other students, they may put uh, a stronger effort to produce better quality uh, pro uh, assignments, outcomes. And as well, uh, they may learn from one another and uh, they may get some feedback from other students. Um, so we place this survey. Uh, and we were addressing, the, uh, we were asking students basically uh, what they think about the, the new, um, the new uh, teaching learning strategies the, uh, that they were facing in the course. So uh, we don't have yet enough information to make a strong assumptions or conclusions, but definitely we have some interesting tendencies, and some of them are really strong. Uh, and we have other numbers that are indicating that probably we are on the right track. For instance, enrollment is recovery from going technically down to zero. The course actually was closed at some point. After the revision in 2014, January, uh, rapidly the course got 51 students. Next year, 2015, in, in August, we already have uh, 63 students. And if the enrollment goes this way, we may end the year with maybe 90 students. All the numbers are indicating that the students are performing better. Less students are dropping out. The, the, the dropping out is, is declining. And uh, it looks like less students are, are failing the course. Um, other other strong, strong tendency is that uh, some students, uh, well, actually, all the students, I would say, the level of satisfaction is very strong. The students are, are really enjoying the course. They really like the, 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 the course materials, uh, the online components, and mostly they are enjoying the way the, the assessment techniques. Another, another information is telling us that the sequence of assignments is something that uh, students appreciate. Uh, they, they, they like uh, the way now they are working and uh, they think that this is the, the sequence of assignments is uh, letting them to get uh, a better understanding of their work, uh, a greater ownership of their work, and definitely is improving their work towards the final research paper. Uh, the freedom to select the topics uh, of their assignment, assignments is making them to be more interested on what they are doing on the work. Uh, they, they are producing, and you can see the comments they, they, they are actually mentioning in this survey. Um, of course, there are a couple of things that students don't like. For instance, they don't like to go through the approval process. For each assignment, the students have to send a proposal to the tutor to, to inform them what they are working on. But we don't want to get rid of this, this process because this is what um, led 
uh, students be on track to get rich feedback from, from tutors and actually to endorse uh, and foster students tutors interaction which was basically known uh, before the revision. Uh, something else that was kind of surprise is that the students are not interacting at all. Despite they are learning from one another, they are not interacting, uh, which doesn't necessarily surprise me a lot because we have very in, uh, independent self-driving students. Um, anyway, there is an important aspect the students are really, really enjoying in the course. Uh, Stain, can you please uh, show the, the, the web page? Something that the students are really enjoying a lot is this, uh, um, this, this Google Map where they are um, uh, posting their assignments. And um, it's coming. It's, it's, it's uh, something they are really getting engaged with because they, they, they have the opportunity to read other students' assignments. and, and um, and, and definitely to, to learn from one another, which is something that before were, was, was never happening. Uh, did you find the map, Stein? Yeah. Um, this is the map I was talking about. Uh, this is embedded on the course. Is uh, students update by themselves the map all the, all, all the time when they're, can you click on one of the stickers, please? Any, any sticker is okay. Um, and basically, this is the way students are posting their assignments. So they are not, the most interesting thing here is that they are not just mapping the Canadian North, but they are basically mapping the whole learning experience in the course. Can you please go back to the, to the presentation just to finish? Um, the same slide, the second last slide where I was before. Okay, so, um, and the numbers are confirming that posting assignments on the interactive map is something that uh, they are really enjoying in the course. They are really um, enjoying learning from one another and expanding the, the, the understanding about the, the course, expanding their learning and diversifying their learning. Um, as I said at the beginning, and I'm finishing with that, as I said at the beginning, we don't yet have enough information to make conclusions, but I promise I will bring the final paper next year, so hopefully see you next year. Thank you very much. Thank you.